Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another Lancaster M video. Today's video we're gonna take a look at what's what has been added to the game. Well, I mean we I didn't notice this until I saw I saw those uh you know the, the missions where it's level thirty ones. Basically this was added recently and it's actually pretty good, especially for free to play players. So anyways, in this video I wanna show you what what I'm talking about. So anyways. Uh, in, if you've already done four of the stages that that you've seen, like level 30, that causes zero stamina, those ones are mostly tutorial levels, and uh, basically it's teaching you the basics of uh, how to do certain things. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. So when you finish each of those stages, you should be getting these, uh, which is four of them. This is called the Fusion Power Stardust. So you might be thinking, what what, would the, what does it do? Well. Once you get four of these, you can create a hero bag with it. Yes, you heard it right. You can create a hero bag with, with these four shards. And this hero bag is unique. Unlike any other hero bags we got so far, this hero bag features six heroes that are, that are the faction leaders of certain factions. So let, let me show you who they are. And you can decide if you want if you want to use them or not. Uh, I personally couldn't make use of this because you know I got all the characters that's listed in the bag. So, but I'm gonna run them through anyways. <clears throat> so, anyways, here here they are. Here are all the options uh, when it comes to faction leaders. So, it really depends on what faction you're running the most. And if you are free to play, uh, they're actually they're actually a lot of decent choices. So like for the beginning, you, you don't have much units on 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 your on your, in your barracks. So here are the few picks you can choose. Uh, but I, I'll let you I'll let you know which ones you should pick. Uh, uh, after I explain all the units that are on here. So, anyways, we got six units that are in the skip pack included, but you can only choose one out of the six. So, anyways, the the choices are uh, you have Leaden, which is the faction buff for uh, Legion of Glory. Mostly buffing defenses. Uh, Bernhard has two different faction buffs for Empire's Honor. Uh, one on his regular and the other one for his from, from his 3C. Shalfaniel is a faction buff for Princess Alliance. And she's going to be a faction buffing for, for for increasing your skill damage. And certain stuff for, within, that has to do with skills. Uh, you got Landius. Uh, he is the faction buffer for your Les Legends. Mostly uh, allowing you to grant advantages against a, an enemy that doesn't have the priority again priority over you. So, so for example, if you're fighting against a holy unit but you don't have any class advantages, well, uh, with a faction buff, you now you do against any class as long as uh, you're not going against the advantage. We also have D Heart. Uh, D Heart is the faction buff for. Uh, for Origins of Light. Uh, a lot of people say the hearts faction buff might not be ideal, but if you're for some reason running Origins of Light at the start of the game, then yeah, he is a good pick, but I'll, I'll probably pick someone else if I were you. Because, you know, Origins of Light isn't as strong as you may think for, for free to play. But I mean, if you're a long time player, you can make use of this faction, but other than that, uh, I don't think you should probably pull that unit. If you're if you're just starting out on the game, and then last but not least, we got Ulta Muller, the faction buffer for strategic masters. So, anyways, now I gotta explain what what unit what what hero you should pick when it comes to uh, free to play. So there are two units I can think of. Actually, no, not two, three units I can think of in mind. So if you if you actually if you actually staying with Legion of Glory. Uh, Legend isn't a bad pick uh, for starters because as of one, uh, you 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 you'll ra you'll straight away get a better faction buff. You know, Grenier you already have faction buff, but that only increases the stats. There's no special effect on it. So with Legend, it, you can actually um, retire your Grenier for time being. But uh, however, it, and the, at a later game, you're gonna need Grenier again because uh, you know Grenier has an SP class. Which I believe you can easily get, but you do need his stones though. But 
at the beginning you don't necessarily you, you don't have access to sp so yeah anyways if you if you want to have a tank i believe leaden might be better but vargas on the other hand is also good it's it's really up to your preference because if you're going for glory then leaden is your go-to man okay and then for bernhardt uh bernhardt He's okay pick, but if if you actually full empire, then no no brainer there. You you can just go for it. Uh, you have Shelfaniel. I mean Shelfaniel is actually an interesting one, although um, Lu Luna could have been a better faction buffer. But if you have to, if you need a faction buff for Princess Alliance, I'll probably say save it for Luna. But other than that, uh, if you just highly depend on skills, then Shelfano might be might be the uh, other option you can get. And for Landius, uh, Landius, um, that yeah, L Landius is um, yeah, a bit underwhelming for be for beginners because like um, you because you don't have much units on your team that that find that features uh the, the less legends faction so yeah L landius uh no no go no go for there because you don't have much unit choices on at the start with uh real less legends uh d heart uh it <clears throat> huh, this is tough uh although um at the start you don't necessarily get much but however there are a lot of sr units based on origins of light so d heart might not be the bad pick but it is not advised to pick him and finally, uh, let's end it off with uh, Ulta Muller. Uh, Ulta Muller, a lot of people arguably say he is probably the best choice out there, due to because like you know this is mostly free to play pr friendly. I'm gonna t tell you why. Uh, Ulta Muller uh, has have access to everything, uh, even if you don't have any other SSR units. So what I mean by that is that his bond requirement. Uh, n none of these need need SSR unit. Instead, you do need those uh, freebie units such as uh, Varna and and I I don't remember the other one it would be. But anyways, these two are the two bonds that he needs for unlocking. Uh, are actually quite easy to do. That's what I'm trying to say. And also, he has an SP class as well, which uh which is also accessible for free to play, which is pretty awesome because um because all he needs is Varna. Uh, as his partner in the certain missions of course and uh yeah a everything checked out so if you want to make a choice here i'll probably say ultra Buller will be better because you do have access to almost everything with him <clears throat> uh, especially for free to play so anyways uh like i said earlier this bag have no use for me but however i am going to pick out ultra Muller because uh you know bonus shards He's not six stars for me yet. So, anyways, this is my pick, and uh, I believe that's about it. Uh, hope you all uh, find this video inform informative. But if you want to have a different take of how this bag works, uh, check out Kong's uh, video. Uh, that's uh, that's gonna be. <laughs> all right, sorry, I had to cut that out there, but. Anyways, what I'm saying is, uh, if you want to find more info about those, uh, this hero bag, uh, check out Kong's video, which I'll put it in the description below when I have time. So, anyways, th that's it from me. Uh, see you all next time.